The Appalachian Trail renewed my faith in humanity. You know, I went out there thinking I was going to be the solo hiker and it was just going to be this backwoods challenge. And it, and it really turned into a wonderful community experience. You know, people helped us and opened their homes to us. And I had so many genuine conversations with people out there that I, I still remember and I still value all of those experiences. One of the best things about a small college like Emory & Henry is that big ideas can become a, a powerful and effective reality here. So that was the seed. We started to develop this innovative program where a student could remain in college and still attempt the journey that is the Appalachian Trail. The semester trail creates an opportunity for a student to have an academic semester built around an attempted through hike or long section hike. So this year we have Tillman Moyer and Sadie Burton. Tillman, he's working on a project in phenology. Phenology is the study of bud bursts and it's related to climate science. And so he'll take photos and contribute that data to the Appalachian Trail Conservancy's phenology project. And so he becomes part of something so much bigger. Sadie is invested in the humanities as a creative communications major here. She's working on actually filming a documentary She's also working on a photography project that will result in a show. So she's working on art. We prepare them for a solo journey and we provide support for that. And so we're two weeks away now for departing the Springer and already they're starting to look like hikers. I've been out here for two or three weeks now and I've hiked over 250 miles to get to the Rhone Highlands. In the beginning, what surprised me the most was how unprepared I was mentally um, for the trail. I was physically prepared, but um, I wasn't quite ready for the amount of solitude that I would get out here off the bat. It's been a challenging experience, but I feel a lot better knowing that I've been able to overcome my challenges and I have been able to enjoy the wilderness and the company around me, the simplicity that the trail brings. It surprised me just how little I need out here to be comfortable. The things that I carry in my pack that bring me the most joy have been my camera, my reading book, sleeping bag, warm jacket. I really don't need television or social media or any of that stuff out here. This is definitely a very hands-on learning experience. It's actually a lot more challenging than just going to the same classroom every day, sitting there for 45 minutes to an hour. I'm thankful for this adversity because I have been able to overcome it. And I think that that's a lot more rewarding than if I had just come out here and, you know, if everything had been a breeze and if I didn't really gain anything out of it. So I'm proud of myself in the way that I have been able to overcome my fears and challenges. The trip so far has been difficult. I don't think anything can prepare you. There's no training that gets you ready. You could be in shape, but once it starts raining and hailing and thunderstorming at the same time, when have you ever experienced that? My confidence every day gets higher. My attitude towards pushing my limit gets I'm more excited. The trail has been awesome. If you're really looking for specifics, it's different everywhere you go. You walk in these forests for 50 miles at a time and then you walk for five miles in a pasture. Seeing little towns in the valleys and seeing them light up at night has been so cool and experiencing Appalachia the way it should be experienced, I think, is a way to do it. Honestly, every day I look forward to, I'm looking forward to tomorrow, or I'm looking forward to racing Highlands in an hour. I just want to keep walking every day. I'm just like, let's keep going.
The Semester of Trail provides an excellent opportunity for experiential learning. The student gets to conceive of these meaningful academic projects that they're invested in, but then they go do it, they engage it in a way that is real. And enmeshing academic learning with a big experiential journey, a very physical journey, it connects learning and growth to life. What I want the students to experience out there is connectedness. I want their academic experiences to be connected to something real. I want them to have journeys, I want them to solve problems, and I want them to become confident in themselves and their ability to accomplish goals that are truly hard, truly challenging.